Hey, what is up everybody? I am Jason and you're watching my channel, Micro Investor. All right, so in this video, I wanna talk about the top 10 most popular stocks trading under $10 a share. Now I got this list from Robinhood's top 100 most popular stocks. And I just broke that down to the ones that were under $10. So let's get to this. I hope you get some value out of it. I'll share at the end of the video, which stocks of these are my favorite. So let's get started. The 10th most popular stock trading under $10 is NEO, ticker symbol N-I-O. NEO is currently trading at $3.76 a share with a market cap of $3.95 billion. Uh, NEO is a growing electric vehicle company based in China. Uh, they're called, one of the things they're called is the uh, Tesla of China or the Chinese Tesla, Tesla killer. Um, I think there's also a couple other names for them. Um, but anyways, Neil sells this whole lifestyle thing with their vehicles. And they're actually growing in sales. They did have a little rough patch in 2019. But things seem like they're getting back on track. The company has announced new vehicles. And as well as Tesla opened up their Shanghai factory. And that's cranking out vehicles. That does really well for Neo as just being another alternative since they're they're already compared to Tesla. So this might be something that might benefit them. Um, another thing about Neo is they recently partnered with Intel to make a uh, autonomous driving system. So we got that to look forward to too. Next is Chesapeake Energy, ticker symbol CHK. Currently they're trading for 67 cents and they have a market cap of 1.31 billion. Chesapeake Energy is an oil and gas company. Uh, they're headquartered in uh, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. On Robinhood, Chesapeake has a buy rating of only 5%, but a lot of people do have this stock because it is one of the ones that Robinhood does give away for free when you sign up or do a referral. Um, but one of the things that's been dragging the stock down is the um, the earnings per share. Uh, the last couple quarters, they have been in the negative, but they're projecting for things to balance out this next uh, next quarter reporting. So we'll see where things go from there. Next is Zynga, ticker symbol Z-N-G-A, uh, currently trading at $6.77 per share with a market cap of $6.4 billion. Uh, Zynga is a popular mobile gaming application company headquartered in San Francisco, California. This is a company that makes the popular game more to the friends as well as other social um, social games. Um, they also did a lot of those real popular Facebook games that a lot of people were addicted to like 10 years ago. Um, but with Tencent owning most of the video game stuff out nowadays, it's great that Zynga is a company that is still hanging on there and still being independent. Um, Zynga has spent close to a billion dollars over these last couple of years acquiring different mobile application companies. So we'll see how things go here in the future with them. Next is Hexo, ticker symbol H-E-X-O. Uh, currently trading at $1.63 a share with a market cap of $428 million. Uh, they are a, a Canadian cannabis company. Uh, they had their IPO in 2019 and since then the stock has fallen 70%. Um, a lot of that is the same thing that has happened to a lot of these uh, cannabis companies. They kind of just had a bad year in 2019. So. Who knows how 2020 is going to go for them. Next is a stock that I recently just talked about, and that is Plug Power, ticker symbol PLUG. Uh, currently their stock is trading at $4.04 a share with a market cap of $1.17 billion. Uh, they are a hydrogen fuel cell company headquartered in Latham, New York. Uh, they are the largest user of liquid hydrogen in the world. They have surpassed NASA on that. Uh, their, com their customers are Amazon, Walmart, uh, and they have a big, uh, big logistic orders with logistic companies like FedEx and DHL. Uh, currently, they're pro providing uh, fuel for FedEx trucks in, uh, in an area in New York, and they are projecting to hit a billion dollars in revenue by 2024. So they got quite a bit of stuff in the works that they're trying to shoot for, uh, which is pretty interesting. So we'll, this is gonna be a good company to watch, in my opinion. Next is Kronos Group, ticker symbol C-R-O-N. 
uh, currently trading at seven dollars and 89 cents a share they have a market cap of 2.7 billion they're a canadian cannabis company specializing in medical cannabis back in february of 2019 Kronos was trading around $22 a share, and now they're trading around one-third that. But that's because this whole industry kind of just had a bad 2019. Uh, Kronos has been growing the distribution to uh, Israel, Colombia, Australia, Poland, and Germany. And uh, Kronos' largest shareholder is Altria. They have a 45% ownership and possibly will be buying more shares and growing that to over 50% ownership. Um, and also with Altria, um, they could offer distribution into the United States with CBD, um, but we'll see how that kind of plays out in the future. It'll be interesting to see. Next is Fitbit, ticker symbol FIT, currently on the trading at $6.58 a share with a market cap of $1.74 billion. Their headquarters are in San Francisco, California. They're mostly known for their smart wearable devices, similar to uh, an Apple Watch, yet Fitbit is more geared towards fitness. Uh, their stock went up quite a bit. Um, about three months ago, they went up 85% after it was announced that Google was going to acquire them for $2.1 billion. Next is GoPro, ticker symbol GPRO. Currently, the stock is trading at $4.15. Uh, their market cap is $646 million. They are a consumer electronics company based out of San Mateo, California. They're known for their small, durable, high-definition cameras. The company went from having a good run, where back in uh, October 2014, shortly after their IPO, GoPro stock hit highs around $90 a share. GoPro stock started to decline a, a lot around like 2015 and never was able to recover. Cons consumers say it's the way GoPro markets their products by releasing new ones when they're just basically repackaged uh, versions of the previous year's models. Others say it's because of smartphones. Um, smartphones already have a um, high definition camera and they're very convenient to already have on you. Uh, GoPro also tried to um, get into the drone business, but their drones literally fell out of the sky, which led to huge layoffs, and who knows if the company can recover from all that. Next is Ford, ticker symbol F. Currently, Ford is trading for $9.29, and they have a market cap of $36.83 billion. Ford is an automotive manufacturing company headquartered in Dearborn, Michigan. Ford is the third largest USA-owned automotive company by market cap. The first being Tesla and the second being General Motors. The best thing going for shareholders is Ford's massive 6.49% dividend, which is what helps make this stock so popular. Bad thing going for Ford is the company has been uh, growing in debt, which it currently is sitting at around $154 billion. A lot of that is because Ford does their own financing but it does eat away at their profits. Ford currently is restructuring their vehicle models where they're focusing more on SUVs, crossovers, and trucks, as well as getting into uh, electric vehicles and going that route. Currently, Ford's F-Series trucks are the most popular pickup trucks in the world, um, and Ford is looking to hold on to that with getting into electric pickup trucks as well. And uh, there will be more news to come from that. Hopefully in the future, we'll have to wait and see what Ford does with that. All right, next is the number one stock on this list, and that is Aurora, ticker symbol ACB. Uh, currently, Aurora is trading at $1.79 a share. They have a market cap of $2 billion, and they are a, a Canadian cannabis company specializing in medical cannabis. Recently, when I talked about them, I was a little harsh, as this whole industry in general has just had a bad time in 2019, and we're going to have to see how things recover. Uh, Aurora's current problems, though, are their financials. As revenue has been down on the decline, Aurora has large loans that are going to be up for due in 2021. Since Aurora is the number one most traded stock on the Robinhood application, I'm hoping that this stock does turn around better for many people, 
as I know that my last video didn't, when I talked about them, didn't go so well. So we'll have to see what happens to Aurora, but I hope for everybody's sake, it is better news. So my top favorite stocks on this list would have to be one, Neo, because I think that there's still a lot of potential that can come out of that company being in the current small stages they are in this market and where a lot of people in China see it going. The second one I think that uh, is really good in my opinion is Kronos, as I think that it's going to be able to recover really well, especially of who's invested into it and where they can take it. The third one that I really like is Ford. I know Ford has terrible financials, but Ford also does pay a good dividend. The stock isn't really that, that expensive. And it, if you think about the dividend, it pays out 60 cents a year. So it's, it would be interesting to see with Ford's recovery of their current products, well, what can happen in the future. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but this is just my opinion on everything. This isn't any sort of financial advice. Now, I am interested in always of knowing what you guys think or if you're invested into any of these, please let me know in the comment section. And as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.